Hello, I'm Michael Glass from MichaelGlass.com, where we focus on making informed decisions about our financial future. This is our Forex Technical Analysis Trading Plan for the pound dollar, the euro dollar, and the dollar franc. Before we pull up our video, we always want to start off our disclosures. Any symbols you see today should not be inferred as a trading recommendation. No matter what foreign investing you choose, stock, forex, futures, options, they all have a level of risk associated with them. You can't lose all of your money. Any strategy we show today are for informational purposes only, future results not guaranteed, and finally, any investment decision you make is solely your own responsibility, trade at your own risk. As we said, this is our forced technical analysis trading plan for the pound dollar, the euro dollar, and the dollar franc. In each video, we look at the prior session's price action to come up with key support and resistance price levels. We'll review the gold chart to come up with leading sentiment. We'll try to create a low volatility and inside bar watch list, and we have an education spotlight at the end. Please send your feedback and comments to contact at dmbfx.com, and let's head to the charts. As always, we are starting off with our gold daily chart, and we can see after testing the 200 million average, we are stuck in, uh, stuck in this range uh, of 1578 and 1660. Even as we come up, we've tested as resistance, we've come down, tested as support again, and we're kind of hanging out in this range. Look at our market profile on a one-hour time frame. I mean, just look at this consolidation right in there. So hopefully, for our bulls, this will become resistance. I'm sorry, support. However, as we go up here into the 1650s, you can see volume accumulated there. So it's really going to take something, some volume, and we've had good volume on this whole move here. Uh, but we're, it's going to take an event to really get us out of this this uh, this pattern. I would imagine we still have our downtrend that we're honoring. We now have our support, even as our 200 moving average. So as this as we continue to move sideways, uh, eventually we're going to have to resolve ourselves out of this downtrend line to the upside or down below the support and below the 200 moving average. So uh, sideways gold means what for our currency pairs? Well, we see the euro dollar is doing the exact same thing. Made its move down. Now it's just kind of hanging out here, moving sideways. And now the 20s look like it's trying to act here as support. I'm sorry, resistance. But look at our volume that, uh, you know, you can see what it's normally like. And then this volume over the past couple of days definitely has picked it up. But price really hasn't done anything. So that's interesting. So we have, you know, stability between the bears and the bulls. We can see that we are uh, on the one hour time frame. We are uh, in the neutral zone below our long term moving average. We can see fractionally that the dollar is in control, although on both the uh, dollar and the uh, euro, they both are um, averaging higher, but the dollar is just in control, just fractionally. And we can see that the buyers are in control while our indicators are neutral. So this would allow for uh, if the dollar is in control we might see a little move down. Um, you could draw a little uptrend line here but because we have so much choppiness and we have on the daily a nice support line that we're looking at 1.34 uh, we're just going to continue to watch this sideways action. And we're going to see the same thing on the pound dollar. Although the pound dollar moved up a little bit more off the lows now we're in that sideways action just like gold just like the euro dollar coming over but we don't see that same volume like we saw in the euro dollar right we are in neutral we did break the uptrend line that we, we talked before we broke it came back up tested it it became resistance and now um, uh, we'll have to see where we go from here here we really can see that the dollar is in control um, as gold I'm sorry as the pound kind of went sideways even though it's trending higher, it went sideways towards the close here, and the dollar is trending higher. Ever fractionally, the buyers are in control. So we may see this go up and test uh, our resistance, which was one support trend line. Finally, we have the dollar franc, and this one also has joined the fund of going sideways, 0.894 acting as support in this range. Um, and it, likewise, as the euro dollar and gold, you can see a lot of volume in here. We are in neutral, coming out of uh, the selling zones, but we're in neutral, 
and you can see we're watching 0.89 nine as a, 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 a point of interest. You can see why we drew it. It was support support. Then it became resistance, broke through. Now it's resistance again. So we'll have to see as we snake around this. The dollar is in control here ever fractionally. Um, the franc did average up a little bit, but the dollar went up a little bit more sharply. However, here we can see that the sellers are taking control here. So we'll have to see what happens with this uh, on Friday. As we begin to look at our watch list for today, we always start off with our low volatility watch list. This is our one hour time frame using Bollinger Bands, watching the high and low of the bands for a break. And here we will be watching the dollar franc, the euro yen, and the pound yen. For our inside bar watch list, this is watching today's range compared to yesterday and whether or not it is within the range. And here we will not be watching anything. As we move on to our education spotlight, we're continuing to talk about trading plans. And we have to understand that even though we're going to take the time to document, back test, and come up with a proven trading setup, trading management style, we have to understand that few trades actually go exactly as planned because the market is loaded with chaos factors, unexpected events. You know, we, 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 we plan our trading based upon behavior past behaviors. So when we look at chart patterns, we're looking at, well, this is what happened in the past and we believe it's going to happen in the future. Uh, but we got to remember the people trading this currency pair today are not the same people who were trading the currency pair six months ago. So although the patterns do repeat, we do have different traders which are going to react differently. And so therefore, we can plan properly, we can use the right chart patterns, we can use the right technical indicators, but we're still it's still not going to go exactly as planned because there's still unknown uh, features that uh, that can happen during a trade. And tonight you can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. We have a page on Facebook, Are You Financially Literate? We have our free five video course that will help you develop your own high probability trading setups help you plan properly, although anything can happen. And we hope that I will give you insight to who we are as coaches. We offer live one-on-one -on -one coaches where we help you develop your own personalized trading plan and help you uh, develop a trader's mindset so you can enact, implement your trader's plan. If you're trading for it, why not get paid to trade? Rebates for your trades. Uh, doesn't change the spreads and trading conditions. It's just rebates for your trades. And finally, if you're looking for signals, we offer those too. We have a bunch of providers. Find the one that matches your trading style so that you're able to implement those strategies, either automatically trade it or get the singles and trade them yourself. In the end, we can plan for the best system, the best indicators, and, and trade only high probability trading setups. But even if you do pull the trigger, anything can happen because there's always unknown factors that can affect any trade at any time. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time.